Hello heathens and welcome to my channel. I am Beauty Heathen and my channel is dedicated to the exploration of paganism through the medium of cosmetics. If you enjoy this subject matter or find my content of interest, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and set the bell to all to be notified of when I upload new videos. In today's episode we will be continuing the Magical Monday Herbal series. And today we, we will be discussing, or I will be discussing, the herb called vervain. Now, vervain is a purpley flower, so I'm going to be doing a purple look today. There's actually three main ones. One is like a purplish blue one I think is white and I'm trying to remember what the third one is but I'm specifically talking about verbena officinalis is the um, scientific name and actually before I do that part <laughs> I am low on brushes because I was very 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 bad girl and I didn't wash them yet it was all in the plan but mm, <laughs> I didn't quite get there yet so I'm gonna start off with the this is from the Ulta box and again if ever you want me to link what these items are down below in, down below in the comments or underneath this video Please don't forget to just let me know in the comments, and I will gladly do that. Um, I'm going to do the matte rose blush right here. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are an existing subscriber and rich coming back, I should say. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, but for the newbies, I always gotta lead in with the disclaimer. Do not come here looking for reviews or an actual reflection of how these cosmetics react to human skin. I am doing all of these looks on cosmetic practice heads like you see it before you and unfortunately the let me see let me turn up the light just a little bit cosmetics do not react to these cosmetic practice heads like they do to human skin these practice heads do not have texture to grip onto the cosmetics so you will sometimes see me struggle with application um, that's not a reflection of the cosmetics itself I do my best with the heads I prepare them with a layer of hairspray for the instructions to protect the heads from being stained then I do a layer of LA Grill Pro Coverage HD foundation this color is dark chocolate and then I use setting powder on top of it the eye primer is NYX professional makeup eyeshadow base in the color white which you may not be able to see very well but um yeah the things that I've purchased were either purchased at Ulta or Amazon but yeah that's my lead in disclaimer in pretty much every video if you want reviews I highly suggest you go to a review channel to, for cosmetics um, my channel is mainly we're gonna do a look with the subject matter so now that I've done my little diatribe let me grab this brush um, 
I think I'll go with the rose gold highlighter. Verbena officinalis is a flowering plant in the verbena family of herbs. While there are well over 250 species of verbena, vervain refers specifically to the types used for medicinal purposes. In addition to verbena officinalis, less common varieties include blue vervain, there we go, uh, which is verbena hastata, and white vervain, which is verbena urticifol urticifolia. Ooh. Tongue twisters. <laughs> um, let's see. Make sure I dip right back into the correct highlighter. These highlighters, I don't know how they would react to human skin, but on these cosmetic practice heads, they show up pretty well. They tend to be ones that you build up for a more blinding highlight. Put that right up in the dirty pile. <laughs> um, Verbena officinalis is a perennial plant with delicate jagged leaves and small five-petaled blossoms. Although vervain has no scent, alternative practitioners believe the vervain, that vervain has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antispamotic, and anti-analgesic, which is pain relieving properties, beneficial to one's health. And I, to anyone who's new, I, when talking about the herbs, I generally lead in with the medical properties and then I add the um, magical properties at the end of the video. With the medical properties this is not a substitute for medical advice whatsoever so please if you are not feeling well if you are sick please do not self-treat yourself please go to a licensed physician, be it a medical doctor, which is an MD, or a naturopathic doctor, which is an ND, N as in Nicholas. Um, don't just take these things because you never know how they're going to react if you're already on medications or if you have um, side effects from them. So, please, make sure that you are getting proper medical treatment. This is not a replacement for medical advice. I always have to put in that disclaimer because I'm not going to have anybody say, well, you said this is good for that, and uh, no, that's not what this is for. Um, I'm going to use the Storybrook. Cosmetics. Oh, sorry. I also get things from BoxyCharm, and yes, this box is listed as having been made in China. I know there's a lot of drama going on right now in the community and everything regarding um, this because Storybook Cosmetics is supposed to be made in America, but the palettes that came in many people's BoxyCharms are all listed as having been made in China. So I recommend if you're interested in that subject, you go to a drama channel <laughs> to find out the tea on that. Um, I'm going to use the color Thorn as a transition shade. Vervain is also referred to as American Blue Vervaina, Verbena, sorry. Simpler's Joy, Holy Herb, Mosquito Plant, and Wild Hyssop. 
In traditional Chinese medicine, it is known as Ma Biang Kao. And if you are someone of Chinese descent and I am butchering the pronunciation, please know it's not intentional. I'm doing the best I can. Um, as I have said in many videos, I am not a linguist by any make, shape, or form. Verbena officinata should not be confused with lemon verbena, which is a garden herb used for cooking that also has medicinal and magical properties, which is an herb I will cover at some point in the future. The medicinal use of vervain can be traced back to the 18th century book Sour's Herbal Cure where it was said to aid in the treatment of kidney stones. In fact, the name verbena is believed to be derived from the Celtic word furfeyan, meaning to drive away stones. Vervain regained popularity in the 1930s as one of the 38 flowering plants used in a homeopathic tincture called Bach Flower Remedy, variations of which are still sold today. Among its purported benefits, vervain may help treat headaches, general aches and pain, insomnia, digestive dysfunction, upper respiratory tract systems, urinary tract infections, depression, and anxiety. But if you are not aware, and I'm making this very clear, and this is not part of the eyeshadow, I accidentally bumped the eyes with foundation <laughs> while I was applying it. Sorry about that. Um, supplements and herbs, especially in capsule form, are not regulated in the United States. They are not regulated by the FDA. So you have to be extremely careful where you are getting these herbs from because you never know what you're going to get, which is yet another reason why I'm strongly encouraging you not to self-medicate, especially with herbs, and to make sure you get them from a reputable source, such as from a naturopathic physician. As with many homeopathic remedies, some of the health claims are better supported by research than others. Like many herbs being tested for medical purposes, vervain has been one of recent study. Studies regarding its application for ailments ranging from edema, anxiety, insomnia, colorectal cancer, kidney stones, and infection have varied in results. Some studies have shown positive results for potential application, whereas others have been <laughs> to put it the best way I can. A number of studies have looked into the anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects of verbena officinalis, both in topical and oral formulations, which means either in a salve to put on the skin, or taking it in a pill or a tincture of some sort, and like I just said, results have been mi largely mixed. Okay, that was the color I wanted to use from that palette. I'm going to go to the handy dandy trusty so jaded palette now which if you do not have this palette and you like this color story I highly 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 recommend it it has been one of become one of my trusty palettes in making my content because it's one of the few ones that I can generally rely on to give me adequate pigmentation but actually, before I do that one, 
Let me see if I can find one in my large pile here. I have a very large pile of palettes and I'm looking for somewhat specific color. purple ones that I have seem to be a shimmer. I'm looking for one that's more of a matte, so that's something I'll have to keep an eye out for when I go get more cosmetics at some point. Let's see. I think the best I'm going to do is this ametrine color. It kind of has a um, effect that kind of reminds me of if you've seen the Tati Beauty palette with the sequin, I think it's the sequin section, where it has a slight shimmer to it, that's what it reminds me of. Um, in 2006, a study from Spain found that an extract of vervain officinalis applied topically in rats was effective in relieving edema. Um, as traditional, almost to the extent as traditional anti-inflammatory medications, but it was far less able to relieve pain. So that's where I said results and claims tend to be very mixed with regards to what people say it's good for versus what it actually works to help with. Now just like with cosmetics, medicine is a very personal thing and a very Uh, mixed bag as to what works for each person. So what may be helping with pain for one person may not help another. That's why we have so many varieties of medications and herbs on the market because you never know what's there's nothing that is completely universal with regards to helping people. get a ah so now I figure out why it was I was gonna wash brushes <laughs> I just realized all of my small eyeshadow brushes are dirty and that's why I was going to clean them but didn't whoops I'm going to go in with the color Alexandrite um Although there have been a few studies investigating these effects in humans, there is evidence that vervain, verbena officinalis, or vervain, um, not only reduces anxiety and insomnia, but may prevent the occurrence of epileptic seizures. Again, if you are watching this and you are somebody who suffers from epilepsy, please, 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 please do not just take it upon yourself to experiment with your own health and just try something without medical attention. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record with this, but I feel it's an extremely important thing to emphasize. Um, these effects are attributed to a sugar molecule in vervain known as ver verbenalin, which is believed to have 
psychoactive properties. Um, actually, I don't want to read that part off because that gives potential um, dosages and I don't want to have that level of responsibility. Um, let's see. The treatment of infectious disease, both common and severe, has become an increasingly challenge, challenging thing to deal with in the face of growing antibiotic resistance. So vervain has also been being tested for its potency with dealing with um, being able to be used as a potential antibacterial medication. I'm not applying a lot of the Alexandrite. I've used this in other videos and it came out quite pretty. I just wanted a slight wash of color. I'm going to use the shade Am Amethyst? Yes, Amethyst. as the predominant shade on the lid. As an herb, Verbena officinalis is considered safe for consumption with few side effects, namely indigestion and gas. This, however, this herb also produces an oily substance that may cause contact dermatitis, but in generally a mild form with a localized rash and redness. Also, however, there have been some people that have experienced anaphylaxis with it, although rare. which is another reason not to just go ahead and use it. I didn't do a good job, it seems, today with the uh, setting powder and trying to make sure things wouldn't come out patchy. That's on me, not on the cosmetics. Trying to pat it versus sweep it. That's a little better. Also, if you're new to my channel, I am right handed and I have tried applying it to the left eye without turning the head before and it did not come out well. <laughs> so, such as. Now, on to the magical uses. I'm trying to keep today's a little bit on the shorter side. With regards to energy, vervain is aligned with feminine energy. It is aligned with the planet Venus and Earth, planets Venus and Earth. And it is often used when doing ritual work or offerings to the deity Sirwidden in Celtic pantheon, Mars, Venus, Aradia, Jupiter, Thor, and Juno. Which, if I recall correctly, I think I already covered Juno in the deities series. I believe that is the Roman name for Artemis. So if I have, I will try to make sure I link it somewhere, <laughs> either at the end or right around this timestamp.
in the witch's herb. It's looked on as a witch's herb, as most are. And it is said to be used for love, protection, purification, peace, money, <laughs> youth, chastity, sleep, and healing purposes. A lot of herbs are multi-purpose. You can use them for a variety of things. There's nothing saying that you can't use it for one thing versus another. It's said to also empower any magic, especially love spells, and enhances the dreaming process and is recommended for dream quests. Um, where this one also has blue, but that's a matte. Hmm, I'm going to try a little bit of aquamarine. In this section. There we go, that's kind of pretty. Vervain is also used to consecrate and empower any root, uh, sorry, ritual tools. It protects from negative emotions and depression. Used in house and home blessings and it's said to turn back negativity. In love spells, it's said to, well, you should add it to recipes or rituals to attract mates, find true love, achieve sexual fulfillment, work sexual magic, and for bringing extra bliss in the, on the wedding night. It's kind of pretty. Um, I think I'll move on to the lips. Yeah, whoops. Let's not cause a mess. Whoopsie. <laughs> Everything's crashing on me tonight. It's what my own fault. I precariously place things. Um <laughs> Sorry, I pinched my finger in the part in the uh, hinge of the palette. <laughs> okay, that one hurt a bit. Um, let's see. Let me find a suitable brush. I think I'm going to do this light blue color for the lips to tie in the form of a vein that has a blue flower, if it will work for me. There we go. I have to store all these things in a pretty cold room, which is why sometimes it takes a little work to get creamy products to work for me. Um, Vervain is also said to be the herb of poets, singers, and bards. It inspires artistry and instills a love of learning. And with regards to collecting it for magical purposes, it's thought to be most potent when gathered in midsummer. And unfortunately, this color isn't working well for the lips today. Ooh.
I think what's actually happening, yeah, is the foundation, because the powder is getting moist with a cream-based product, and sorry if that word bothers you, um, it's causing, if you can see, the foundation to come off on the brush, and the color is refusing to go on which I have to say thankfully I have not experienced a lot with this J-Cat lip palette but every so often it just doesn't want to work right for me so oh well we tried anyway I hope this video has imparted some knowledge on um, Vervain to some degree and perhaps maybe tempted you to pick some up to include in your ritual workings but anyway if you enjoyed this video and wish to have more like it please be sure to let me know in the comments below don't be shy I promise I won't bite um, before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can stay tuned for new videos. And with all of that said, until next time, I wish you love, I wish you joy, I wish you kindness, I wish you prosperity, I wish you happiness, I wish you peace, and most of all, I wish you brightest blessings. Here's today's look. And until next time, brightest blessings.